Hey there! Welcome to Clean Cut and let's talk about the truth. This is where we can talk about life, reality, and anything else. There's just one rule. We have to use solid logic and common sense. This season, we're taking a closer look at the temptations that people have to see if we can figure out why we're tempted to commit sins. People generally commit sins because they're after something they want, and they sin in an attempt to get it. So we're looking over the things people want. Today, our own longings. When we talk about longing for something, we're referring to something that goes beyond mere wishfulness, or even ordinary desires. Definition. A strong desire, especially for something unattainable. Craving. In reality, not all longings are utterly unattainable. Sometimes they can be attainable by some people and not others, or only attainable with a resource or collection of resources that not everyone has. Sometimes, a longing can only be attained in our lifetime by doing something terrible that we're not willing to do, but we long for the thing anyway. Other times, a person longs for things they acquire on a regular basis, like their next day off from work, but just can't acquire at the moment. Still other times, the longing is for something like a gold medal in high jumping, which someone can definitely attain, but probably not you or me. It's hard to get any more specific than this, because longings can be virtually anything that's hard or impossible for you to do right away, often based on your circumstances. Owning a Great Dane, traveling to the moon, eating a pineapple, or marrying that girl you used to like in school are all examples of longings that some people have had at some times throughout history. The list is virtually endless. People can long for specific experiences that they never got to have, accomplishments they never had any chance to make, or anything else. The dangers of longings, especially deep, lasting longings, are similar to the dangers associated with pleasure. Wasting too much time or resources trying to attain what you long for, becoming obsessed with the thing you long for, and no longer caring about people who don't long for the same things you do, People who develop an obsession with getting the precise thing or things they long for will sometimes also develop obsessions with riches, prestige, or power in the hopes of getting it, opening them up to additional dangers associated with those temptations in the process. As with pleasure, however, I believe that deep longings for various things are meant to push us closer to God. The very fact that we have the ability to long for anything should be a reminder that something big is missing from our lives, which should motivate us to pursue the first, primary source of every single thing we can possibly long for. We're not meant to endure unfulfilled longings forever. God wants us to be happy and fulfilled, but first, we have to enter into his kingdom. Once we can receive what we want from him directly and obviously so that we always know from that point on where all these good things are coming from, God no longer has any need to hold back. With the risk of sin removed in heaven, we can finally get what we want and what we've always wanted. Even our least perfect longings can be fulfilled if we seek him first. As Jesus said, For after all these things do the heathen seek. For your Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Seek ye therefore first the kingdom of God and his justice, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 32-33 Next time, The Temptation of Accomplishments That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.